What's up guys, today we have the Legendary Duelist Season 3 Display Box on the hunt for the Dark Magician Girl. The entire display comes with 8 of these boxes and the boxes contain a collectible die which is awesome, 1 out of 10 total secret wares, 6 out of 30 total ultra rares, some are the red named and some are the blue and 30 out of 91 commons. The set is a bunch of hero stuff and magician stuff. The most expensive card is the uh, Magician Souls that I mentioned earlier. It is an ultra card, uh, not a secret, which is strange, but it is a very playable card right now. The most expensive secret in the set is the Fusion, the Dark Magician, that's the name. It's the Fusion card for the Dark Magician deck. I'm gonna open seven of these, I'm gonna save one. Let's pop open one of these real quick and then I'm gonna go through all of them and set everything up so we can actually do the opening and not take a million years. Okay, so in the box itself, we have the, have a promo card, two of the packs, and then, wait, is this more than one card? Okay, no. No, it's just one card, the promo card. The two packs, and then one of the collectible, oh, this is a hero one. One of the collectible die. We're gonna go through all the dice at the end. Let's go over the promos we got real quick. We got three Elemental Hero Sunrise, two Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier, one Kaiser Glider Golden Burst, and one Mystical Elf White Lightning. We did not get the most expensive one, but it might be in the little uh, display, not display, the little box that we saved. The most expensive one was the Dark Magician's the Fusion card. Then the die, we only got one of the little circle behind the Magician cards. Let's see if it'll focus. We got one of those. We got one of the heroes, uh, the H. We got two of these. That's one of the elemental heroes. Two of this guy, and I was looking at the box in the beginning. I remembered who he was, but I totally forgot while opening all this stuff up. And then one of the one that I wanted, which was the Dark Magician. So the giveaway for this video is going to be one sealed Elemental Hero Sunrise and these four dice, the different ones. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe and you will automatically be entered and then after the 10th video I'll announce the 10 winners for the first 10 videos I did. And then I might switch it to every 5 videos or something like that just so you don't have to wait like 3 or 4 weeks to actually know if you won. Nice, juicy, fat pack. There's 18 cards in these ones. So this set is actually the cheapest by quite a bit, by like $100, which is crazy because it actually has the most expensive card in it by like eight, or no, not $8, it's probably more like six, by like six bucks, which is the uh, Magician Souls cards. Uh, the three, the red, the blue, and then the normal ultra rare. With shipping everything, this cost me a little under 75, and it's almost guaranteed to be a dud as far as profit goes. The reason why I bought it anyway is for a card that I want to add in my personal collection. If you've watched my stuff before or looked at the mat, I'm sure you can guess it is the Dark Magician Girl, which is the third international Dark Magician Girl artwork. It's like a $2 card, but a juicy $2 card in my eyes. Probably others as well. Giveaways will be different 90% of the time, and this includes my first couple videos. Instead of commenting something specific, it will just be any comment as long as you're a subscriber. Hitting the like button always helps as well. Once we start getting a bunch of comments on every video, then I'll revert back to the comment challenge. I know there's a few people commenting nice stuff, and I don't want them to be excluded. But you have to be sure to check out the community tab after my 10th video for the announcement of the giveaway winners for those 10 videos. After it's posted in the community tab, you'll have 30 days to claim. After 30 days, I'll probably just recycle the giveaway cards for future giveaways. So there's something we should talk about, and that is if it is good or bad, the set itself. So it is good for the following reasons. One, new cards. So it contains new cards that are not available in previous sets, which can provide any player with uh, you know new strategies, options of building their decks. The new cards in this set specifically focus on a uh, Phantom Knight storyline, which was a def it was definitely a popular story arc in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. The second reason why it's good is competitive play. Uh, for players participating in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, 
the cards in this set some of the new cards uh when this came out by the way this is not a, a new set at all they could be a strong addition to existing competitive decks or allow for the creation of new competitive decks so there i mean there are cards in here that could definitely benefit just a regular player and like i said i didn't pay very much for this entire display so if you're searching for a card and you can get a whole display for the price that i paid for it uh, which you can it's on tcg player that's where i bought it so it's like just openly available to everyone if you're a little bit newer and you don't have some of these you know staple cards or things like that it, it's definitely possible but then again if the set is a little bit cheaper the singles will be cheaper as well uh, the third reason why it's good reprints so it does have a lot of reprints of like old really popular cards uh, and now like some of those cards that got reprinted are extremely expensive you're talking about red eyes blue eyes dark magician and uh things like that so you, you can get these cards it will it won't be the original art but if you don't care about having the original art or anything like that and you want those cards you can get a really really sexy looking version of like red eyes the blue eyes is my favorite by the way that's my absolute favorite so you can get a really good looking blue eyes card for fairly cheap speaking of tcg players check out my store awkward shrug the fourth reason why it's good is collectability which kind of dials back to what i was just saying so there's like there's red eyes there's new blue eyes art you know there's all there's different arts for extremely collectible cards the one i'm searching for dark magician girl it's a new art the other part of collectability is that some players they might be collecting you know literally just the legendary duelist series the whole series and they're they're you know they're season like one two and three and if they're collecting the whole series, there was Legendary Duelist before then. So there's like Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3. Mostly because it's older cards that have gotten reprinted. and But it's a new art that makes them viable to like actually purchase the set in order to try and pull the, those cards. The other thing we should talk about is why it is bad. It is bad for a couple reasons. Number one, being limited focus. So it, com it completely focuses on the Phantom Knight storyline. I was just saying it was good. I know. But if you don't watch the anime or anything like that, then what is the Phantom Knight storyline? You have no idea. So if you're not a fan of like the storyline or the characters or anything, or the anime at all, then you're, this set means nothing to you, pretty much. The second reason is going to be limited reprints. Now, it does have reprints, but it's not a core set so it's not gonna have as many reprints as like a big set like photon hypernova you know all the all these other big sets uh, and i can i can go back i can literally list all all the courses but it's not gonna have as many reprints as a, a popular core set or even any core set in general because it kind of came out as like a little weird you know side set or anything like that but it is it is it's searchable i like it so i'm trying not to be biased but a lot of people will be like, hey, it doesn't have good, hefty list of reprints, so I don't really care if uh, if I get it or, or whatnot. The only exception to that is if you like the new art. And there she is. Man, I'm not going to lie. I was getting really nervous there for a second. I was sitting here thinking the whole time, maybe we are going to have to open that box that I'm saving. Very nice. It is the red name, but I do not care. After being nervous about it, I've actually got I've never been this excited over a $2 card. I swear to God. So, yeah, if you like the new art, then you, sh you should probably get the set or at least buy the singles or whatever. The third reason, and this is most important when it comes to why it's bad, is the price. So when it came out, it, I'm, I'm assuming it was the same price as Season 1 or Season 2. But uh, right now, during the time that I bought it, you're going to lose value. There's absolutely, there's, you could get like the most amazing display ever and you're most likely still going to lose quite a bit of value. But in conclusion, ultimately, like it's up to you. So it, it's cons I would I would consider this. I would officially place it as bad. Like you should not buy it. And another one. Okay, the first one was red. This is the blue. Let's see if we can get the normal ultra. That would be insane. Uh, as a set, if you like any of the cards, definitely buy singles. But like I said, I wanted to do it. Open it. Open it on you know on camera. Because I'm searching for something, and yeah, I could buy it and then just search for it. But I want to make a video about it. I want to post it onto YouTube. And even though I don't have a lot of subscribers or viewers, I have like one or two people that w probably watch every video. And I appreciate them so much that I wanted to buy it and do this video with this set and, versus just buy, spending the, the $2, uh, $3 uh, on 
the Dark Magician Girl Ultra Rare, but or not Ultimate, Ultra Rare, with the colored names, which is a whole other thing. Normal red and blue. Speaking of colored names, when I saw while ordering this set that there was cards with colored names, I was immediately turned off. I was like, that sounds absolutely disgusting. But, you know, now that I'm opening the set and whatnot, the colored names actually look really good. But I think it kind of depends on what card you're going for. Like, you know, the Archfiend with the red name looks amazing. But if you pull a Dark Magician Girl, you kind of want it to just be regular. Just have the uh, regular gold name at, the, name at the top. I mean, you might want the blue or red just to collect. But if I was, you know, I'm searching for that. So I don't really want it to. Yeah, I have Dark Magician Girl of third international artwork, fourth international artwork, first Japanese artwork, first artwork, yada, yada, yada. I have that card, but it's a red name. That That's like a downer to me. So I was super unhappy when I saw that that was that was going to be a thing but I they actually do look good so the, the Archfiend one I'm probably going to keep one of those I have my own little like collection off to the side uh, and it's not worth pretty much anything you know I have a lot of older cards but as far as since this YouTube channel has started I've, I've collected slash like taken away from what I've pulled for myself very little it what I've taken since this YouTube channel has started has probably equaled, including this video, it's I've probably taken about $20 worth of cards. And the rest are for sale. And oh, by the way, if you ever see a video and I pull something, you're like, hey, I would, you know, I would like to buy that for a uh, minimum price TCG player, uh, just go to my TCG player store. It's going to be on there for minimum price. The only exception is if it's like a one cent card, but I know people would want it or could use it in their deck. My minimum price is 10 cents. That's the only exception. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so another thing I like about the set is there are some pretty good common cards. I mean, like Ecall is in here. That's still, right now even, that's like a 50 cent, 75 cent card. And just a common, it's still in here. A lot of the hero stuff is in here. And then the like the destiny board stuff and stuff like that. I, I don't I can't think of anybody that actually uses it, but it's still pretty collectible and it, it's always good to have. Like I feel like every Yu-Gi-Oh player like they they want to have final spelled out. You know I mean everybody it's not in your binder or something like that, but every they all have you know F I N A O they all have it. Okay, so let's at least get to the last pack together. Yeah, that it, oh another evil hero. He's looking pretty good. Necroface, a lot of people are trying to buy that. Oh, we took the L. Nothing's gonna happen. We got a good blue name, Don Walker. Okay, Tuning. Tuning's actually an underrated card, I swear. And that's it. Okay, so that was the opening. We didn't get a Magician Souls, but the box that is saved could possibly have one. We will not know until the future. Or if I give it away, then we will never know. But I am actually happy with it. I got two of what I was searching for. My $4 is fine. And we did not come close. I haven't done the math and did the little pop-up at the bottom yet. But uh, I haven't done anything like that. But I know for a fact we lost a lot of value opening this. But it was worth it for these two pulls. The childlike wonder of pulling the card you are looking for. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. And this stuff can be yours. This will be stay sealed, obviously, along with all these dice. Lastly, if you guys have any sets you want to see that like have displays like this that aren't, you know, like it's not $800 for a case or whatever, leave it down in the comments and I will add it to my wish list and add it to the list of sets that I am getting. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.